Welcome student. Let's learn about bar graphs. But before starting with bar graphs, let's look at the definition of few terms. First is largest. Let's look at the meaning of largest with the help of this picture. Here we have four children who are standing according to their heights. Here you can see that Kevin is the tallest of all. So we will say that it's largest in height. Similarly in height you can see that John is smallest of all. Now let's learn about terms most often. The most often means something that occurs many times. For example, out of these numbers, number 4 is occurring many times. So we will say that 4 occurs most often in these numbers. Now similarly in these names, John, Greg, John, Alex and Gracie, John occurs 2 times and rest of it occurs only once. So it is most often. After this, let's look at the definition of least often. The least often means something that occurs a very less number of times. For example, out of these numbers, we can see that 2 occurs just once. So 2 occurs least often. Similarly, out of these fruits, we can see that cherry is occurring least number of times. So we will say that it is least often among all the fruits. Now let's look at the different types of bar graphs. Here are the pictures of different types of bar graphs. First is horizontal bar graph and the second is vertical bar graphs. You can see that over here in horizontal bar graph, the bars are aligned horizontally. While in vertical bar graph, bars are aligned vertically. Now let's look at different axes of bar graph. In this bar graph over here, this is the vertical axis while this is the horizontal axis. Now different numbers are represented along these horizontal and vertical axes. Now let's define bar graph. A graph which shows some numbers in the form of bars is called bar graph. Let's see an example for this. This bar graph shows the different flavored candies like by different number of students. Over here, the x-axis represents the different flavors of candies and y-axis represents the number of students. Now we can see that chocolate bar goes till 4. So that means chocolate flavored candy is liked by 4 students. Strawberry bar goes till 6. So that means strawberry flavored candy is liked by 6 students. Butterscotch bar goes till 5. So that means butterscotch can flavored candy is liked by 5 students. Now can you tell how many students like orange flavored candies? Yes, your answer will be 2 because orange bar goes till 2. So that means 2 students like orange flavored candies. Now let's see one more example. This graph basically shows the favorite ice cream flavor of few students. Over here the x-axis represents the different flavors of ice creams while y-axis represents the number of students. Now my question is that which ice cream cone is liked by the most number of students? 
First of all, for this we will convert the bar graph in the form of a chart. Now we know that vanilla bar goes till 6. So that means six, 6 students like vanilla flavored ice cream. Now chocolate bar goes till 8. So that means 8 students like chocolate flavored ice cream. Similarly, strawberry bar goes till 4. So that means strawberry flavored ice cream is liked by 4 students. And chocolate crunch bar goes till 2. So that means chocolate crunch flavored ice cream is liked by 2 students. Now we know that over here 8 is the highest number. So we can say that chocolate flavored ice cream is liked by most number of students. So now this brings us to the end of this topic. Goodbye and see you next time.